Hi guys, it's Amanda Watson from MrsWatsonEducation.com. That's me. And this is my fifth video in a series of videos teaching you how to make the most of these virtual Bitmoji style classrooms. So if you're watching this and you have no idea how to make a classroom, insert a Bitmoji, share it with people, uh, make multiple classrooms, get design ideas, you should probably go back and read my blog, um, my previous four blogs, and watch the videos that go along with that. This one is all about taking your um, Bitmoji classroom to the next level and um, publishing it to the web so you can manipulate HTML code. So it's getting a little bit deeper here, but this is gonna help you be able to integrate it to your LMS systems at your school, like Canvas, which is going to be my next and final video in this series. So I'm going to go ahead and share my full screen with you so that you can see how I do this. Okay, so you're going to go to your presentation, whatever one that you finish and you're ready to share. Um, in my one of my other videos, I showed you how to share the view only present or the um, the preview presentation, which works and looks very similar to this, like a website. The big difference between those features are is when you do the preview share, um, you have a URL. It's still a document URL, and you don't get the um, HTML code that you can embed and do more things with. Um, but basically the same idea, um, just different purposes. So what you're going to do, and this should be pretty quick, is you're gonna, when you're done with your page, and remember, I love this because even if you're not done with your page, you can publish it to your Canvas post when you just have one part done and add more as you go along and it's gonna upload automatically and update automatically with every change you make. It goes with the code. Um, you don't have to reshare and spend hours uploading each document, each file. That's why this is such a game changer. Okay, sorry, back to this. So you're gonna go to file in the top corner and you're gonna go down to where it says publish to web. Who would have thought, <laughs> okay? So you go in there um, and it's still publishing a presentation, a slide presentation. So it's automatically going to default to moving forward through the slides um, every three seconds. Now, if you don't have your slides except for your home page, which is my first slide, um, if you don't have them hidden, you do that by going up here for sliding where it says skip slide, then it's going to go through all the slides you have, even if you don't want your students seeing them automatically. So the best thing to do for that is just hide the ones that you don't want to have. You could still access them. It's not like they're hidden from you be able to edit. Um, it just makes them hidden from view when it's published. So. I'm going to go back here. Um, just in case, I'm going to go to make that every minute. So just in case something goes wrong, it will still only progress every minute, which will kind of save you from some issues that might happen. Um, if you were doing a presentation, you can have it start immediately. You can restart it, like if you're doing um, a slideshow um, of pictures and go over and over and stuff like that. Um, so that is awesome. So what you're going to do now is just publish this. And remember, now it's a live document. It's searchable online, right? It is published to the web. Um, and you have your regular H, um, URL code that you can use and share and link it to anywhere you want that would take a URL code. But what's different from this and why you want to do this versus just doing the sharing to presentation mode is if you, once you publish it, you can go up here and you can have advanced settings, right? Again, you could change um, the size of it just right here in your HTML code. If you know anything about coding, um, there's a lot of things you can do with that. I don't know anything about coding, but I figured out how to make these little cheats happen. Um, so this is then you can um, copy and paste this code into whichever LMS, and we'll talk about it later, but it accepts code. I copy and pasted this code into my Wix website, my blog, and to this blog post so you can see and go through and use it. So um, there's a lot of ways now you can make that visible in other websites, which you can't do with just a presentation mode. With presentation mode, they still have to click it to open it. This makes it in your face actively going on. There's a one little adjustment I would recommend making, so that's if you, so you can get rid of the bar on the bottom of the presentation where it can have you navigate through the slides. I don't like that because I want my students only to see the home page and use this as a true website versus a slideshow. Um, and to do that, you're gonna just change some slight coding here. If I can find it. I have it in the, um, see I'm not really good with coding. I have it all in there. It's really close to this section, but because I changed it around, it looks different for me. Um, I believe it's just right here. 
right in this section right here where you would add when you copy and paste it you would just edit that into um, I have it all in the the post but that would actually remove that bar there um, I don't know all the code off the top of my head like I said terrible at code but know how to do this so we all win right okay well um, and that's just it that's pretty easy right there uh, so using that code is just taking it to the next level and gives you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to publishing and making into websites that you've created already. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Remember, my blog is www.mrswatsoneducation.com and there's so much more content and information on my site. So hopefully you enjoy and see you later. Bye.